Hello, Grace. Can you please introduce yourself for the camera? Could you please introduce yourself for the camera? All right. My name is Grace Bear Holderman. And um, where and when were you born? I was born September the 8th, 1912. Um. As uh, my daughter Vinnie would say, the Titanic went down and mother came up. <laughs> Um, and what did you did? What did you do during your life, as in um, a job? At what kind of job mm -hmm. did I have? Well, uh, I, I I never had a job given to me by anyone else, or or assigned to me by anyone else. I I always seem to somehow make my own jobs. <laughs> And, and and I must say, I I did some interesting things. I never made a lot of money, but that truly wasn't the most important thing. It was it was learning about people and things. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, and how have you affected our immediate area? Uh, well, I know there was a time when when I, and indeed my whole family, uh, my husband and two daughters, there was a time when we were very well known because we did a lot of performing in, in the area. Uh, and not just at Penn State or State College, but, uh, but, um, but surrounding uh, places too. Uh, I won't say... Uh, uh, I'll say, you know, Altoona, <laughs> and and, uh, and even, you know, uh, 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 Pittsburgh and the Philadelphia area. We, 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 we sort of got around mm -hmm. uh, 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 doing a little family act. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, now we're going to move into the immediate questions. Well, no, wait, uh, a little um, louder for me. I sorry. Guess. Now we're going to move into the immediate questions right. about um, women's role. Okay. Um what was your role in theater during your early life? During my early life? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I'd been a performer all my life. I mean, since I was five years old, uh, uh, always I uh, did, uh, did uh, some stage things. To we, uh, my older sister, Sarah, and I took elocution lessons. There's a word that isn't used very much these days, but we took elocution lessons, you know, E-L-O-C-U-T-I-O-N-S, e elocution. Uh, that is, we, uh, we, we were, we used to give recitations, uh, uh, and, and at lots of, lots of places, churches and schools, and, uh, uh, many uh, places where where the Bear Sisters, as we were, Bear was my B A E R was my maiden name, and the Bear Girls or the Bear Sisters, uh, which has a comic uh, implication if you really want to work at it. But I must say we never did the Bear Girls or the Bear. We were just well known kids in the in the Reading area and we did a great deal of performing and speaking uh -huh. mm -hmm. um how would life have differed for you without the greater role of women in the country of of what the greater role of women in the country uh, well i i don't know in 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 uh, my area and and then there were i think uh, I belonged to a small group of persons who had an opportunity to perform from early childhood. So I, uh, I, I never had a difficulty, and I must say, I never had to look for uh, opportunities to perform on my own. That uh, they always came to me, or to me and my older sister. Uh, as we uh, were asked to to uh, be a part of of either uh, church groups or 
uh, other other uh, community activity areas that we were asked to to do some entertaining for. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, were you ever actively involved in women's rights? In women's rights? Mm -hmm. No, not as such. Now, and, and that wasn't anything that in my early days that was was talked about. There was a, and I must say, there probably, uh, I, 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 I understood what women's roles were, mm -hmm. there, and they were a little different. And, and yet, there was, there was nothing unpleasant or undesirable uh, about them. I, I, I never felt, hmm, you know, we ought to have more of a say-so about how this goes. No. Uh, there was never any, any, or any animosity about it, or or, or among, or, or between the male generation. Uh, the I mean the male, uh, and and uh, and and me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, was there any major occurrence in your life uh, that made you remember a, a woman's rights speaker? Oh. Okay. Oh, no, I'm, 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 I'm sorry to say, no, there was never anything, and nor did I, I, I didn't feel, to me, there, there wasn't that much, there wasn't really any difference. Uh, as I say, being a performer all my life, it was, uh, it, um, it was um, uh, just natural for me to, to, uh, uh, you know, be out out there in front of others, and and I I never had to seek that role myself. Uh, so uh, it, it it was not hard. I I'm quite sure that for for others who didn't have the exposure that I had had all my life and from early childhood uh, that. Uh, it it may have been harder, uh, uh, so I. Ev everything came. I I never had to work at uh, getting a a place in society or in in uh, in, in life at all, and, and and I and I I must say that was in large part because I I I got to be known by. Uh, many people, and it. Uh, so I, I, I do know that I had uh, an easier time of it than so many females who, who really had ability. In fact, most of them with a lot more ability than I had, but uh, but they they didn't get the the opportunity to present themselves. Uh, or they, or they didn't have the courage, maybe, and is one of the reasons to advance as they could have and should have. So many females I I know had lots of talent, and it was just kept under cover all too much of the time. Many, it it, it wasn't always the smartest and the uh, the. Uh, uh, the the best singer or the best dancer or the best uh, pianist who who got an opportunity to perform it was the one who who sort of had some courage to push herself or himself a little bit out there and and uh, and it was that kind of person who made it as I think into a great measure that is still the way it is today it isn't necessarily the 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 very best voice that makes it it's the one it's the voice that pushes itself out okay thank you